Hey you send me again. Before we start, please ignore the ship of my hair and my nails when I slash in and it was a wee bit tight for time doing this, but I hope you enjoy it. First of all, just taking a wee clear mascara through my brows. This is just a collection one. Everybody kind of raves on about it. I think it's something like £2. Definitely worth a buy. Foundation I'm using is once again the NARS Sheer Glow in shade Barcelona. I like it because it has kind of a G enough finish. I don't want to use anything too matte just because of the type of look that I'm doing the day. I just want to do keep the skin quite G and youthful looking. You'll see why at the end. Well, you'll obviously work it out, but I do like kind of like a G skin. And just taking this brush, it's from it's a Morphe brush from I think it's like a contour collection or something. I think I got it about six or seven years ago like i've had this brush a really long time and do you know what anytime i've washed it it hasn't lost hairs or anything like that like it's been really really good i'm just making sure they bring that right over my eyelid and everything as well and another thing make sure you get right under your hairline and around your ears and stuff like that and down your jaw and around your neck when you're putting foundation on and um as well as patting this on i'm doing kind of pull motions as well this isn't the most full coverage well, it has quite a full full coverage foundation if you want it to be, but you can keep it quite sheer as well. Hence the name, Sheer Glow. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Fat Me Concealer in shade 10. Just bring that on, like, under the eyes and stuff like that, like, where you would highlight when you're contouring and highlighting, just keeping that all there. There's not too much of it. I usually go ham on concealer, but as I said, I want to keep this G and not too heavy. Just pat that on as well. I'm making sure to get it over the eyelid. I don't want to bust in my eye today. I want my eyes to kind of blend on to the rest of my foundation and makeup. And I'm just putting shade zero collection concealer right underneath my eyes. As I've said before, I do get quite bad bags under my eyes and I do like a bright under eyes. So just blending that on. Give us a wee closer look at that there. Not too heavy, quite G. Before I did this as well, I did my skincare. I've done that in all our videos. It's really just a wee serum and an under eye gel thing now this is kiko milano like a glow stick kind of thing quite nice like see even without foundation and stuff and i'm taking this lipstick from primark it's just a pinky one um i can't remember the name of it but like any kind of pink lipstick will do and i'm blending that on along with that glow stick as like a sheer kind of blush so not everything's too matte I'm going to put on my cheeks and on my nose too. Mm. Blend that all in together. Keeps it looking like really youthful and like more natural. Just blending that all around my face. And then patting it on with the foundation brush. Just to make sure there's no harshness or anything and it all just blends on nicely together. I can't cope with my hairline. Like look at the shape of that. I had my plaits and my hair like two days before filming this and I was like I would really need to straighten my hair before doing any kind of videos and it was awful looking and now it just really doesn't look any better but anyways taking that bronzer and just kind of patting it on around not going too heavy with it just anywhere you usually put bronzer and just around the jaw cheeks bring it down the neck and the forehead and my massive hairline and then I'm going to rub it around the eyes as well to blend them and the face and a wee bit of the nose. I like the tone of this bronzer as well. It is quite summer. And then just a bit more blush on. This is Natural Collection Blush. This is where we put the lipstick before it act as a blush. Sharp but extra. Now this highlighter from Primark, I absolutely love it. It's not too harsh of a highlighter. It's not too reflective or anything. But it's really, really nice. It's so summery. 
and I kind of like dabbing this like in a lot of areas of my face like anywhere you would highlight but just not rubbing it on do you know what I mean kind of patting it on just to keep it all youthful and not too heavy it's a nice summer glow like the way this is now I've literally fill up my eyebrows and put on a bit of mascara and see for summer and stuff I just keep it like that like I think it's a lovely I'm Geraldine. Everybody needs Geraldine. Any like clay, wax, like products, anything like that, or gels or anything, it just oh brings life back to them. It's amazing. I just have it done before and just going like hair strokes on my brows. Um, you start yet to see me do a dramatic eyebrow, just literally filling in where it needs to be filled in, just as natural as possible. Kind of just my center and ends, and then a wee tiny bit at the front. This wee hair strokes. This brings a bit look of a better shift to your face. And magically both eyebrows are done. Nice everybody have one nice eyebrow. Give her a dollar. Just there both like that dollar eyebrow. Mm. I'm just patting under my eyes and on my eyelids and stuff, just making sure there's no crease in my face. I haven't put any powder powder on that brush, but so I'm not gonna lie, it's not a clean brush, it's had powder on it before, so if it's a clean brush, I've just put a tiny spot and then pat it off loads. Now, look for eyeliner. Obviously, I was not that prepared. My god, Morgan, hurry up. We do not want to see any more of your hairline. Thank you. Now, what I'm doing with eyeliner here is I'm going to try a wee bit of like an editorial eye. I haven't practiced this or tried it before, but I'm just going to go for it. I usually hit wing liner, hit wing liner, but I just wanted to try something like different. Like everybody's at the moment it's doing tutorials on like smoky eyes and stuff like that. And, like I love a cute way to do a tutorial like that, but just something to break it all up at the moment. I've really been out of my comfort zone. Like my last video was something really really colourful, and this is now editorial. Like everything I do is usually just dark and smoky, or else browns. Like that's all I really like, and I can't wait to do a video on that. But so let's get these kind of things out of the way first and then I can really enjoy them but to be fair actually I quite like this I'm not joking see once it was done I took it, took it off me about 30 seconds later I think I took 3 photos took it off but sure it's hardly going to go out the garden like going away a wang liner um, tips for that a lot of people use tip to kind of keep it sharp um, some people use a brush and a gel. I just think for this, because I'm not blending the eyeliner and anything, I just want to keep it sharp and non crease and don't want to go anywhere else. The eyeliner that I've used was fine, like a liquid liner. This is out of the point shop. I swear to God, it's the best liquid eyeliner I've ever, ever used. I've never found one that I really liked. But I love this one. So I just kind of like having a parallel line day. That wing, just like giving out the shape of the crease in the eye, kind of like you know, pop art. That's what it reminds me of. I'm just not going full over, I don't want it to meet the wing, just like a parallel line dip. Making sure it's thicker in the middle and thin at the two ends. I look like something simple. And same on the other eye. Just try to get them on as even as you can. Like I'm aware my face isn't completely symmetrical, so that bit of hair is really annoying me. Why don't I straighten that properly? Anyways, collection mascara on like a bottom lashes and top lashes. And that is that on. Once that's done, pick a pair of lashes and get them ready. I've chosen a pair of Dull Beauty lashes. And here they are on. 
at the time I bought these lashes and I was like, I am never ever gonna wear these. Like they are so so funny looking, but here we are, find a use for them. This is a na naked liquid lipstick. I'm not lining my lips or anything. I told you I want to keep this G you have full editorial. So I'm literally just putting this on the side of my lips, blend it out with my finger, and then I'm gonna add gloss. It's a natural colour, like just youthful glow. That's what I'm thinking the whole way through this. Get me high gloss from Primark and whack a bit of that on. I'm really loving this skin. Like it looked even nicer in my life. Like see the ring light and how harsh it is. You can't even see like. But it was just so glowy and oh, I loved it. So this is the finished look using. I'm keeping it on obviously add a wee bit of setting spray. The setting spray I used earlier was Collection G finish. And oh, when I added the ashes as well I added two wee lights underneath that wing just for a wee bit extra. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.